Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today we are playing with paint. Um, <laughs> what else do we do on this channel? Not a lot. Um, so I am, if, if you watched my last video, uh, you will know that, or it might have not been my last video, but I'm doing a series of trying to work out how to make those pearls of possibilities that I created um, back in my funnel spiral pour. Um, several of you have given me suggestions of other artists who have created these and so I'm very very grateful and I am looking to see which options <laughs> work for me as you do. So uh, today I am going to go back to my white puddle at the, uh, if I can find my white paint, that is, there it is, um, white puddle in the middle. Uh, this suggestion came from one of my amazing patrons, Doug, and um, he said he wondered if it was to do with me having silicon on my fingers and having touched the edges of the canvas. So that's my next step. Now I'm going to put some silicon on my fingers. This is just um, Montmartre silicon oil. Um, I had done a, a live stream um, and um, I had silicon on my hands, so he suggested that maybe that's what created those beautiful white dots. So there we go. I have two drips of silicon onto my fingers and then touched the edges. <laughs> this may be a lesson in what not to do in the future, uh, but it also may be a lesson in um, what we can use to create what we'd like to create. So there you go. Um, what colours are we going to do today? Well I did uh, red and black and peach last time and so this time I am going to do um, actually just going to do a couple of colours. I'm going to do my meadow green. I'm going to do Prussian blue, which is kind of, as you can see, almost black. It's kind of not quite as black as Payne's Grey is a blue black, but it is so dark, it's definitely. And then I'm going to just put some white. And this is just normal white. It's not, um, it's not that white. It is the same brand as these two are and I'm not going to put any silicon in any of these we're just going to leave the silicon being what's on there let's just check the consistency nope where's my water bottle gone there it is I haven't used this one for a while so it has thickened a little bit guys I mix up whole tubes of paint into airtight containers like these um, peanut butter jars and stuff like that, honey jack pots. So if you're highly allergic to peanut butter, don't buy any of my paintings because I can't guarantee it's not, it's peanut butter free. <laughs> um, so This is going to be another spiral pour uh, done through the funnel because that's what I did with the first one. Again, just a little bit too. Um, what else? What else do you need to know while I'm getting these colours mixed up?
Um, so how do I mix my paints? I mix my paints with Floetrol and water. And that is it. Uh, somewhere around 50-50 Floetrol on paint. But I'm using a, um, a brand of paint that is quite thick. Um, like it's a medium to heavy body paint. It's not a runny paint when it comes out of the tube. There we go. Uh, right. Oh, should I put a bit? Oh, no. I just spotted that purple, that, that runoff purple that I've used a few times. And um, I was like, oh, should I use that one? No, no, I'm not going to. All right. So, apparently, the trick is... That it needs to be a spiral pour and it needs to have a couple of layers of each colour. And what was the other trick? No idea. That white is still quite thick. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see. All right. Move my pants out of the way, my water bottle out of the way, and get rid of that lump of paint. Now, as I say, the only silicone we've got is on the edges, so I'm not expecting big cells to show up, but these air bubbles in here. And most of those were from the white, I think. So if they're big white air bubble pops, that's what that is. So I'm just going to stretch till it goes over the edges and bring it back. I did do. I seem to. Rem I did use a um, corner catcher when I did the one I'm trying to duplicate. Let's go that way. Bring it back. And go that way. And bring it back. And once again, if nothing else, we got a very funky funnel pour. And just check all the edges are good. Right, I'm going to give it a quick air bubble pop first. Oh, here comes my husband in the truck. Hopefully you guys can't hear too much reversing noises. Alright, I wonder if any of that silicon's actually going to rise up 
out of the back. So we only put the silicon fingerprints around the edges and I'm not seeing any silicon rising up. <laughs> Maybe these paintings don't want to have pearls or possibilities. We do have some pearly looking things from those air bubble pops, but does bring up any I will come back and show you before it dries but if it doesn't we're gonna have to just leave it to dry and enjoy the glory of it let me just bring it up to you to show you what we do have it's funky and pretty though I like it. Vibrant green. <laughs> All right. If it changes much over the next few minutes, I will come back and show you. But I'm not going to hold my breath for that. Might do something with all of that underneath there, though. I'll be back to show you what I do with that. Alright, we're back. And, um, add a bit of a look around and there's a spot over here that's actually quite interesting. Let me zoom you in and show you. will let me so this pitch here bit here I quite like that um, it's just sort of veiny and I think when you capture it it will look sort of like marble ish sort of thing um, so I'm gonna grab that before I start scooping all this paint up and some of you who have been following my channel for a while know that I like to use cabochons. And instead of letting something dry, cutting it out, sticking it on, which a lot of people do, I just dip the cabochon straight in. See it, like it, capture it, move on. So there you go. Looks like the spider veins on the back of my knee. <laughs> All right, I like that. Something weird. But I am going to remove these tins, which is what I had my painting sitting on, and scoop this paint up onto this bit of cardboard let's zoom you back out again so you can watch me do that and literally it's just a, a scooping motion Eek. and a scooping motion but this time That's quite pretty. I quite like that. 
This time I'm going to pop it onto my little tray, pop my tins down for it to sit on. And I'm going to flick some, since there's no silicon in here, I'm going to flick some silicon onto it. So this technique just means you put a drip of paint, particularly a lot of silicon oil on your fingers and flick it. Use your fingernail to scrape it off and flick it. Now, that's the second time I've used that Montmartre oil to do that. And I think it's actually a bit thick. It's not actually... I'm going to try my Durex play. Oh, which reminds me. You know how I said I thought they were going out of it? They've rebranded it. It's still Durex Perfect Glide, but it doesn't have the word play in it anymore. It's Durex Perfect Glide Silicon Lube. Um, so if you're looking for what I use, that's what it is. Um, and it is 100% dimethicone, which is great. It's runnier. And you get a lot. Oh, check that out. See, 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 see. See, it's the thickness of the oil. That Montmartre is not, is too thick. Look at that. Let's zoom you in so you can look at that. So all of a sudden we've got cells. I like, I like, so now I'm just going to just stretch it out a bit. And usually what I use these cardboards for is to make greeting cards and if you look in the show notes in the description below <laughs> um, there's a link to a video where I make those cards so you can check out how to do that I'm not going to stretch it any more than that there's enough there for one card out of that I like it I'm going to leave it alone and let it dry so I'm just going to put that um, cabochon paint side up on there as well and walk away let it dry <laughs> um, the painting has not developed any more yumminess on the edges so I'm gonna I've got one more person to follow up on how they do them and uh, if it's any different to the two things I've tried I will do a video on that but stay tuned here and see how it dries in three two one so it's dry it's pretty it to me it looks like looking down into the depths of a um, a whirlpool you've got the, the light side, the dark side, the, the hole in the ground, the bubbling up of possibilities. I love it. <laughs> what do you guys see? Let me know in the comments what you see. I really, really like this piece. Even though it's green. I know, right? <laughs> uh, some of you have been following me for a while will know that uh, green's never been my favorite color. But hey, I do like this piece. Even looks um, like there's a little duck swimming in the water just there. I don't know if you can see it. There's this little beak and its little chest and head. <laughs> what do you see? Tell me what you see. So I like it. It's dried. It's doing its thing, but there is not those pearls of 
whatever it is so i've been doing some more research um a lot of people seem to be using a particular brand of paint uh to get this to happen uh, i'm not 100 percent sure what that brand of paint is well i am but not off the top of my head you know what i mean uh I'm heading off to Tauranga this weekend. I will be there when you get to see this. I'm teaching a four-day class over there. Uh, and I'll be doing a live stream next week. So if you'd like to come and join me for that, uh, make sure you find the link in the description for my email list. And I will send you the date and time and stuff on that to give you a bit of a heads up. Other than that, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you know when I go live. And I will see you live next week. Oh, oh, do you want to see the the runoff? What I did with the runoff, the card and stuff. Let's bring that in. Cabochon came up looking quite funky. It looks like lots of little squished faces in there to me. I don't know, what do you see? Definitely, oops, there, looks like a face. This one looks like um, maybe a, a seal or an eel or something coming in. Maybe that's why that face is looking a bit concerned. <laughs> what do you see in there? And then we've got the card. Oops, hold the camera the right way, Michelle. Uh, it has gone a little bit crepey, kind of, it's got a texture to it, um, which is, I quite like that texture, it's, can you see the texture? I do like it, um, and that will make its way onto a card, so check in the description below to see what I mean by making cards I had fun with this pour and I'm looking forward to having fun with you all on the live stream I'm going to head off and pack the car now but I adore you have an amazing weekend and I will see you super super soon bye bye